Hey, it's a Tuesday, and it's Greg Osimakopoulos with today's My Rhymes and Reasons. This week, as you know, we are working our way through the hymnal, looking at popular hymns that refer to God as our rock and our refuge, in whom we can trust and find protection. Would you play, name that tune with me today? I'm going to play a few notes to this particular hymn, and you identify what the hymn is. Of course you know that one, if you grew up singing it as I did. The Lord's our rock, in him we hide, a shelter in the time of storm. That is based on 1 Samuel chapter 2, verse 2, where we find these words, There is none as holy as the Lord, neither is there any rock like our God. It was written by a man by the name of Vernon Charlesworth. I don't know much about him. In fact, I don't know anything at all. But it was adapted by Ira Sankey. And I do know about Mr. Sankey. Ira Sankey was the Cliff Barrows for Dwight L. Moody, a very famous 19th century evangelist after whom Moody Bible Institute is named, the Moody Broadcasting uh, Network, named after Dwight Moody. And he had a colleague who led the singing at all his revival meetings, much like Billy Graham had Cliff Barrows leading the singing, Dwight Moody had Ira Sankey. And Ira Sankey really is credited with much of the gospel hymnology that we've sung in our churches in the 20th and now in the 21st century, even though he lived in the 19th century. And he adapted the words of Vernon Charlesworth and he provided the melody that we sing these words to. Let me read these verses as religious poetry, and even though you're used to singing them, maybe because you're hearing them read, the import of these lyrics will come uh, to new understanding as you contemplate them in your mind today. The Lord's our rock, in him we hide, a shelter in the time of storm, Secure whatever ill betide, a shelter in the time of storm, a shade by day, defense by night, a shelter in the time of storm, no fears alarm, no fears affright, a shelter in the time of storm. The raging storms may round us beat, a shelter in the time of storm, we'll never leave our safe retreat a shelter in the time of storm. And this final verse, O rock divine, O refuge dear, a shelter in the time of storm. Be thou our helper ever near, a shelter in the time of storm. And then the chorus. For Jesus is a rock in a weary land, a weary land, a weary land. Oh, Jesus is a rock in the weary land, a shelter in the time of storm. There's um, analogy, metaphorical language that relates to the children of Israel leaving Egypt en route to the promised land where God provided a shade by day, defense by night. Remember the pillar of cloud by day and the fire by night, protecting them from the intense sun there in that uh, Middle Eastern heat in the desert and the wilderness, and then fire at night providing them with heat because it would get so cold. God was his providing shelter to his people, a shelter in the time of storm. Recently, uh, I found myself in a deluge unexpected rainstorm that was much like the Midwest, even though it found us here in the Pacific Northwest. You know, most people think of Seattle as being the rain capital of the world. Well, we don't get heavy rain. If you're part of the Pacific Northwest family, you know that our rain here tends to be drizzle, sprinkling. I don't know many people who live here in the Northwest that have an umbrella. We just uh, dodge the drops as we make our way from the house to the car. 
Uh, we don't need an umbrella because it doesn't rain here like it rains in Chicago or New York or Miami or places where they really get a rainstorm. But recently it rained like a Miami storm here in Seattle and I ran for cover. There are times in our lives when we run for cover because we find ourselves blindsided by unexpected difficulties and we need to know where we can hide, where we can evade and avoid the storm. And we know where that place is, don't we? We know where our shelter, our provision, our loving God seeks to be that for us. Would you pray with me? Lord, on this Tuesday, we choose to make it a day in which we are mindful of your presence in our lives. Circumstances continue to catch us unaware, if not the weather, circumstances that relate to family members in a time of need, uh, job, employment situation, retirement uh, situations that find us wondering what our next move will be, health challenges, uh, that exam from at the doctor's office that we're still waiting results for. Lord, there's any number of storms that find us seeking a refuge. And thank you that we have a a volume of songs that remind us, whether sung or read, that you are that shelter in the time of storm. Today, we take shelter in you, even as we begin this day, acknowledging you and our need and dependence of you. We don't hesitate to acknowledge that we are children in need of a strong Father who can lift us and carry us over those parts of our life that threaten us. And so we pray, even as Jesus taught us, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our sin as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Well, that's it for a Tuesday. I invite you to join me tomorrow. And if you haven't yet this week, check out myrhymesandreasons.com.